This conference will now be recorded. Hi everyone. We'll wait for two more minutes for others to join. Hi everyone. Is my voice audible? Anyone please confirm? Yes, 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 yes. yes. Thank yes. you. Hi, I'm UV. I'll be your trainer for this uh, full stack developer course. Um, so let me introduce myself. I'm UV and I'm in this IT field for almost 15 years. I got a chance to work in different programming language and technology. I have hands on experience in C, C, Java, .NET, and all the latest technologies. I had a chance to work uh, UI frameworks like Angular, starting from Angular, Angular JS, TypeScript related things, Node.js. And uh, I have hands on experience in um, the cloud technologies also. I'm a certified AWS and uh, Google uh, solution architect. I did my uh, things in uh, other aspect of uh, digital worlds like uh, microservices related aspects, containers, dockers. So I have experience on all these fields, but as part of this training, we'll be covering uh, the aspects related to Java and uh, Java backend and uh, Angular. This is the full course related content. And uh, without delay, uh, let's go through the content. So I'm, think about so many of you could have got a chance to see the course content a high level course content you were, would have seen it but uh, let me elaborate um, because uh, the course content is at high level we would have given only the topics uh, i'll try to cover uh, what and all we'll be covering as part of the uh, each and every topic so i'll be sharing my screen let me know if you're able to see my screen Is my screen visible? Yeah, we are able to see it. Thank you. The very first thing is, uh, let me tell what is the agenda of this particular course. This course is mainly intended for uh, uh, students or the employees who is mainly uh, looking for some change. Uh, some people might be uh, 
a student level they might be doing their colleges and planning for a new job and uh, they know other progra programming language and planning for uh, a new it job in java world uh, there are some uh, employees who is already a part of an organization but they are working in a different uh, platform different technology and they want to uh, look for a job in java related aspect there are some employees who do java work but they don't know the concept they might be knowing the uh, a basic concept of java they want to upskill so different level of students would be there so this program is intended for covering all the kinds of students because we'll be starting from the scratch so here it doesn't mean that you need a programming language background even if you don't know any one programming language it is fine because we will be starting from the scratch we will start everything from the basic like we will tell what is java what is programming language so we'll start from that point and if you know a programming language yes it's good it's added uh, a value for you to go through but uh, if you don't know no problem at all because i'll be touching upon everything from the scratch i'm saying so in the first day of classes i'll be covering what is programming language out of that programming language why java is famous those things and all i'll be covering so next thing is we will be seeing a different aspect because our main intent is most of the students are joining by keeping one thing in the mind that is i have to clear the interview then the subsequent process once i clear the interview i have to work independently so without depending upon any other team members i have to do my activity by myself if it is a simple task or it is a complex task i should be able to do by myself this is the mindset of all the students who is join the training courses so what we will be doing is first we will do a step by step process that is we will make you comfortable with java first we will make you understand what is java so we'll start from the beginning then parallelly what i will be doing is my style is on the job training that is i'll be doing the theoretical plus the practical all my uh, sessions if you see um, all my sessions would be practical oriented i won't just say uh, what is class what is object no i won't start my class like that today my topic is class means i will be giving some real time examples to you then i will write a program related to that so that you can easily correlate what is class what i'm trying to say i will make you understand then only i will make you to read the theoretical parts like what is the definition of a class what is the definition of object so for the very first time i won't tell what is the theoretical things like a, a definition of a class definition of an object what are the types available i won't take you to that mode in the first stage itself first i will give you a real time example i try to correlate each and every topic because whatever we are learning whatever we are doing everything is related to the day to day activities so obviously there will be a relevant example available in our real world so i try to correlate each and every topic with a real time examples i may take a simple examples like your school day stories or your college stories or your uh, home related things anything but end of the uh, session you will understand what is the concept that is the main intent so you will we will start a session with one or two theoretical so uh, i hardly show ppts in my presentation most of the time we will be seeing our uh, ides only ides are nothing but the editors used for the java development so that ides i i keep on open that and i will be doing the demos i'll be explaining it's not like i already write some code and open the code and show you so lively i will be typing each and every line so that you will get to know why this particular line i am typing when i type differently what type of error i will get if i get a error how i am fixing so you will use it for your real time uh, activities also that what i say on the job training so on the session itself i'll train people like it will give you confidence that end of the session you can open your uh, id that is your editor and you can do your coding by yourself that is the main intent so throughout this 40 hours the course duration 40 hours we are mentioning here this 40 hours is intended for my activity that covering all the topics beyond this activity i'll be giving you a lab exercises that lab exercise will be related to your theoretical part or the demo which i shown in that particular day so you will be uh, trying by yourself 
so uh, i'll be guiding you offline that is daily we'll be having one hour of session after that end of the one hour i'll be giving the related lab exercise to you i will see whether you are able to do it if you are not able to do it uh, in my previous sessions students used to ping me offline only they will ping me they will post their questions in the group itself they post their questions and i'll be resolving it if we are not able to resolve it if the students still can't understand the next day we will be sorting out the problem that we will be discussing the issue and the next day session will start so this is how we used to uh, go with our session this 40 hours is mainly intended to cover the topic additionally we will be doing the lab exercise so finally when you are uh, completing this 40 hours plus the lab exercise you will get a confident to do your coding both in the back end and the ui the angular part also will be covering so both front end and back end you will get a confidence to do your coding by yourself that is the main intent so uh, my teaching style is on the job like i'll be teaching parallelly i'll train you it doesn't mean that i'll be it's like a usually when you go for any uh, training or online tutorial uh, it's like a video will be played and you will see the video and uh, you will forget after some day so my intent it's not like that when you uh, learn along with me then you will get to learn more things that is my uh, working style so if you stuck anywhere uh, obviously i'll be there to support you either offline or online so my contact details everything will be shared in the group so we'll be uh, working uh, parallelly to sort out the issues the first thing what we will be covering here is as usual thing what is java so first you should know what is java so i'll be explaining what is java prior to that i'll be explaining what is programming language because some of the students may not be from the computer science background so uh, to uh, make them comfortable i'll be covering the what is programming language then i'll be covering what is java and what are the features available in java then when you go for an interview question the very uh, first question or the basic question they will ask uh, because uh, they want to test you whether you have a real hands on experience or uh, you read some interview questions online and came here so some interviewer may ask some tricky question because i myself is a i'm doing a panelist to work for different organizations so i know uh, how to test the people so very first question tricky question what i will ask is what is jvm what is the difference between jvm jdk and jre because this question is a very basic question some people may think it is a basic question but people who worked on the field for more than two years they may not be knowing this question because they don't coding but the very basic things they will miss it to test whether they are really knowledge to person i myself ask this question to many people so that part we will be covering so everything is a real time examples i will be giving so that you can understand then uh, initial few days itself i will make you uh, install ide you can use a online uh, source also to do the java development but i prefer that when you get into an organization they will expect you that you should know at least one ide but i can say that end of the session uh, you will know at least three ide because for different sections i'll be using introducing new ide that is editor the very first thing i'll be introducing is intellij for the core java uh, related uh, development then for the spring boot i'll be introducing you the sts so it's again look like a eclipse only but it's mainly intended for spring boot application then i'll be introducing the visual studio code also so end of the sessions you will be knowing three ides java related ides so this will be a one of the added value to you when you go for an interview they will ask you what are the ides you are comfortable with then you can very confidently say that you can do development in three ides so any one itself is sufficient for your development but i'm i'll be introducing three ides here so that you will be comfortable so sts will look like eclipse so obviously uh, you can even say that you know eclipse also because how to create a project how to run an application or an individual standalone java program everything will be same in your sts and eclipse so you can say that you know four ides also so these are the things we will be covering tools wise then we will be stepping into after installing java and ide then 
step by step i'll take you into the uh, real time development so very first day itself i won't say what is class and object we will be touching upon the basic java also so in basic basic java we will be concentrating on different aspects like what are the different editions of java available java itself uh, has a uh, different editions one is the standard edition another is enterprise when you are doing any training or uh, your demo purpose you can use standard edition when you are going for any organization level in enterprise level when you look for a more advantage of java a security or performance then a enterprise edition is needed if you are looking for a, a android related application then a different version of java or edition of java you have to use so i'll be explaining what are the different types of uh, editions available then i'll be explaining the structure of java program so if you take a program a java program what is the minimum component the program should have so that you can run your program so that i'll be explaining then we will be doing one simple program your first program in java so once we do all those things then we will be seeing the variables so what is variables what is data type what is literals these and all we will see and different naming convention we have to use in these sections for a variable how you are supposed to declare if it is a class if it is a package if it is a uh, interface how you have to give a name for it what is the pattern you have to use that and all i will be explaining in the initial few sessions then in the data types i will be explaining what is primitive data type what is non primitive data types so uh, what are all the available data types in java what are the things we regularly use on uh, program because uh, the main intent is if a employee if you are an employee of an organization if you are looking for a, some other professions like you are in python and you are looking for a java then obviously uh, the expectation from you is after a week of your onboard they will ask you to do coding so that time you should not do the basic mistakes and all so what i'll be doing is i'll be explaining the different naming conventions the patterns how you can organize your uh, files your folders how you can create a project how you can import the project if you are into an organization obviously you are not going to write a file from the scratch obviously your workspace would be there and that workspace you will be add into your uh, ide and you will start your development so i will guide you in such a way that you will understand the existing code also if some other developer has developed a code i will guide you so that uh, as part of this training course you will get an idea how to read the existing code also then the conversions so when you talk about data types there are different data types available so what is regularly used in our day to day activity we will be touching upon and uh, in the data types itself there are different types um, the primitive and the non primitive so here in the data type explanation i'll be stretching upon the concept of string a lot because string is a different uh, concept so we will be seeing a detailed information about uh, string that is uh, in string uh, why it is immutable so interview related aspect every topic i won't be just saying the definition or the interview questions alone why string is immutable then i won't be reading the answer i'll be explain you with the real time demos i'll be writing a program and showing you why it is immutable so you will get a clear idea and it will register in your mind also then how to declare a string in a literal way and using a new keyword that is object based so that we will be display, uh, discussing as part of string then what are the inbuilt methods available for the string classes because string is a special class so there are some inbuilt methods available so do uh, uh, for you to do some operations like uh, converting from a lower case to upper case or to find a particular character in a string so many options are available so that and all we will be discussing and there is a important interview questions like what is the difference between equal to equal to uh, and uh, dot equals to method for this i will be covering a detailed session uh, like uh, there are so many scenarios available or the case studies available i'll be 
uh, detailly explaining the scenarios so that you will understand why the equal to equal to symbol and the, the uh, dot equals to methods are not same. Uh, that we will be seeing and um, different memory allocation, the difference between the uh, string and uh, literal way and the new keyword is the memory allocations, heap memory and string constant pool. I'll be explaining when you define a string using string literal, which memory it will occupy. When you define a string using the new keyword, which memory it will occupy, that I'll be explaining you. And what are all the comparison methods available in string? There are some nine methods available that we will be discussing. What are the searching methods? Why we are touching upon these areas is apart from your interview, when you clear it, when you are doing some real time development, then most of the coding will be related to string aspects only. So that time, this comparison method and searching methods will be helpful for you. So that I'll be covering. Then string buffer and string builder. When you should go for string buffer, when you should go for string builder, that we will be discussing. Then we will be seeing for the other data types, for the primitive data types, for integer, for short, these things, what is implicit conversion, how to convert from one data type to another data type, uh, implicit and explicit, both the things we will be covering. Then your first hello world program. Uh, so we will be doing some simple, simple programs in the first step itself we will be doing. Then we will be doing the escape sequence. I told you, right, like uh, we were doing string related aspect. In string, we will be covering some escape sequence. If you want to remove a particular thing, if you want to remove a white space, if you want to introduce a tab into your string, how we can do. So those things we will be covering in the escape sequence. And the main thing is, uh, to read an input. So when you are running a program, obviously you have to get an input to the program. So I'll be touching upon the scanner also. Using the scanner, how you can read different inputs, how you can read an integer, how you can read a string. So those and all we will be uh, uh, checking here. And uh, when you read a, a string after an integer, what is the challenge you will face and how you can rectify? That also we will be seeing in the uh, string reader things that is uh, getting an input then into the operations so different operators are available so here we will be seeing the basic arithmetic operations addition subtraction multiplication division and modulo then component operators will be seeing then we will see the increment and decrement operator so increment and decrement operator here we'll be doing some lab exercise also because it will be asked in your interview question. Most of the panelists like this topic a lot because they can make some tricky questions and they will test whether you're logically strong or not. So here we'll be doing some hands-on experience that is increment and decrement. Then we will uh, learn about uh, relational operators, bitwise operators, Boolean, logical operators, and conditional operators. So uh, this logical operators we will be seeing because when you into the real time development, you will be using the AND and OR operation a lot. So here also we will be doing a demo for all these topics. I'll be doing a program for you and show at least I will be adding one uh, operation between two operands and I'll be printing it. So this you can see real time how the output would be. And uh, next thing what we will see here is conditional statements. So once you have the operations, you know what are the operation. The next thing is conditions. So basic things, it is available in other programming languages also. But how you can use it in Java, we'll be seeing the demo. That is if, else if, and else if later, we'll be seeing that nested else if and all we'll be seeing. Then we will be see, uh, seeing the switch. Though we may not use switch much in our development when you are in the organization, very rarely we will be using switch, but still as part of the interview uh, preparation, I'll be covering the switch also with a demo. So you will be seeing a program related to that. Next topic is arrays. In array, you will be seeing what is array, why we are not using the regular data type, why we are jumping into array concept. 
then array there are different types available single dimensional two dimensional and multi dimensional so i would say with my personal experience multi dimensional we won't be using at all but still it's good to learn so we'll be learning that also for single dimensional and multi dimensional we will see the real time demos i'll be writing a program and i'll be running it lively and showing you so you can see that and reading a input passing a input using uh, loops array using loops that also we will be seeing under the arrays concept then we will be learning the concept of loops because loops is the core you will be using frequently in your development when you become a java developer uh, without for loop you can't run i can say any of your any of your uh, file you will see what at least a for loop would be there so we will be learning the important concept the basic java concept uh, one of the important thing for loop so we will be learning for loop for each loop then uh, do uh, do while so these loops will be covering as part of loop concept so in this loop concept uh, for loop we will be stretching a lot because it will be used a lot in your real time program so for loop i'll be covering a uh, nested loop also it's not a single for loop you will have a multiple for loop a loop inside a loop so nested loop i'll be covering why i'm covering this topic is again in your interview you would have come across if you already attended a interview some people would have asked this question they would have asked you to print a pattern with some stars with some 1 2 3 some patterns they will give so if you know the nested loop concept you can very well play with the pattern related questions all the pattern related questions are related to the nested for loop logic only so we will be doing that concept also so uh, nested for loop we will be uh, doing some demos and in the nested for loop we will be touching upon the break statement that jump statements also there are two jump statements the break statement and continue statements these two th things with the example we will be seeing so again how to break the inner for loop how to break the outer for loop how to continue the inner for loop how to continue the outer for loop so that also with the example we will be seeing so this is the overall uh, loop concept then coming back to the uh, so still so for what and all explain okay it's related to the basic java this program we split into three different categories one is basic java then intermediate then the advanced java so so far what and all we have observed it's related to the basic concept then the next level uh, we will be jumping that is the methods and hoops related concept method is somewhat between basic java and the intermediate java but i am taking in the uh, middle of these two things uh, so part of the things will be discussed the basic java concept part will be discussed in the intermediate uh, java concept so in methods we will be seeing why we need a method what how you can name a method what is the structure of a method what is argument how you can pass a argument or the parameter to a method what is return type what are the different return types available how to call a method what is a calling method what is a called method how to get the data from the method say maybe in the first demo class the terms which i'm using uh, will look like more techy but when we jump into the real time uh, class with the example then you will see it is really easy because for everyone when they see java from outside they will see it is really tough but when you do your regular activities when you jump into the real training mode and learning mode you will feel it is really easy but the terms and all for the very first time if you are seeing this for the very first time maybe you you may feel that this looks somewhat tricky but when you get into the learning phase obviously you feel comfortable and you will learn uh, along with the uh, training courses so methods these are the things i will be covering then what is the scope of a method uh, scope of a variable so variable itself there are so many types instance variable and your local variable global variable so in the very beginning itself i won't be telling what is instance variable because you should know what is class then only if i say instance variable you will understand what is instance variable 
so when you look at this course content you may feel that uh, it has so many uh, topics in a uh, aligned way but when i take a class i will skip some of the topic and cover in the relevant area because when i cover class then if i explain instance variable you can understand so that is how it will be there but at the end of the training all the topics would be covered so next thing is we will be seeing the classes and objects so the oops concept this is the main core of any java or the any oops related things this is the main class and objects so some people may feel or comfortable with the initial uh, topics only till loops or conditional they feel comfortable when we jump into the classes or object they may feel it is not easy for me because most of the times most of the online materials it is related to the theoretical concept they will try to explain everything more technical way but what i'll be doing here is i'll be explain you with the real time examples so i'll try to pitch in slowly but all the concept will be covering but slowly i'll be pitching in each and every topic then it will be covered so classes will be covering most of the things like what is a class what is object what is attributes methods so if you create an object how a memory will be allocated and uh, what is a constructor so in constructor we will be seeing different things like what is default constructor what is copy constructor uh, this pointer then uh, what is anonymous object and how you can pass a object and how you can return an object what is anonymous class what is pausing reference so these are the things uh, we will be covering why we are covering these many topic is there are some cases when you go for an interview they will give you a program and they will ask you to debug it they will say that there is some error in this program can you please debug it especially they will play with the objects and the pointers that is your object related concepts only the this keywords and uh, how you are uh, passing the reference they will play with that so we are mainly covering this part because to cover the debugging session in your interview part so here these are the topics we will be covering in the classes and objects and next thing is we will be covering the inheritance one of the important hoops concept apart from your uh, interview in your day to day development you need this inheritance concept so you might not be knowing it uh, behind the scene uh, all your classes is inherited from a base class one object class would be there so you might be thinking that i am not using inheritance in my coding i am a part of organization i am not using inheritance it is not like that all your classes are inherited from your object class there is a base class available without our knowledge we are doing using the inheritance concept so inheritance is one of the important topic we should be knowing so in inheritance i'll be explaining what is access relationship you will be knowing that and i'll be explaining what are the different types of inheritance available and why we don't have a concept of multiple inheritance in java for uh, in other programming language okay you have the concept of multiple inheritance but in java we don't have it so i'll be explaining what is the problem and what is the solution also i'll be explaining next thing is we will be touching upon the uh, garbage collector so uh, what is the garbage collector why we need it what is a finalized keyword so that and all i'll be covering then i'll be covering the static concept what is a static method what is the static data those things i'll be covering then i'll be covering the concept of uh, encapsulation so uh, uh, here we will be touching upon the access modifiers also what are the different access controls are available when you should when you have to define a class public when you have to define it as private when it should be productive so those things will be covering here then polymorphism most of the uh, people who attend interview they get confused with this concept polymorphism overloading and overriding 
so they will tell the definition of overloading in overriding topic and when somebody asks what is uh, overriding they will explain overloading vice versa they will confuse because they don't know the concept they read it something on the online and they came for the interview and they will confuse so easily we can identify but what i'll be doing here is i'll be touching overloading separately when i cover the method concept i'll be covering the overloading concept there itself then when i cover this inheritance and uh, abstractions and all i'll be covering the overriding concept so overriding we will be spending some extra time here because based upon the overriding only we will be doing the abstraction and interfaces and all so we will be touching upon few demos in the overriding concept so we will be explaining that and what is the super keyword when we have to use it what the difference between static and dynamic polymorphisms and all we will be uh, discussing here and next thing what we will be doing here final uh, keyword so what uh, when you define a class as final what will happen when you define a method as class uh, final what will happen when you define a variable as final what will happen this is again one of the interview question you will ex uh, expect so they will ask something called what is the difference between final finally and finalized so already we have discussed when i explained the garbage collection i explained about uh, finalized here final keyword when I explain the concept of exceptions, error handling, that time I will be explaining the finally keyword also. So that you will know the concept, you in turn can explain it. Because uh, as a panelist, what we expect is we want some uh, word from our associate, own words. We don't want something from online because we itself has already uh, read all the online material. So we can very well catch if a candidate is answering on his own or he is using some online uh, materials. He is just uh, dictating the words. We can easily identify. So uh, we won't recommend that candidate to an organization because we need a person who has real-time understanding and who did some co uh, real-time uh, coding. So in that case, if you understand the concept, you can explain. By putting your own examples or you can use my examples also what i'm what and all i'm using so uh if you know what is final finally and finalized you can explain by yourself next topic is uh we'll be covering on packages also so what is a package uh what are all the inbuilt packages available and few demos also i'll be showing so what are the user defined packages because when you develop a code obviously you have to create a package and you have to deploy it so as a developer so i will be i will make you to think like a developer only so if you are doing a development these are the errors you will get it and you have to rectify like this so that also will be covering as part of the training then what is command line argument if you are using an ide you are supposed to pass a argument to your program means how you can pass a command line argument some of you would have got chance to see a java program before so there you can see a main method a static main method would be there then you can see some argument string square bracket some arguments would be there right what is the purpose of it how to pass a variable to the argument using your own ide or the command prompt so both the ways i'll be showing so that uh, when you into a development you can make use of that option also then what i'll be covering is abstractions so uh, why we should go for abstraction i'll be covering then reflection this is again a tricky question whether you are using it in your real time or not some of the panelists will really ask this question what is reflection what is the importance of reflection so that i'll be covering in our training session then enum concept so enum i won't be covering in the data types initial data type concept itself because after covering the class when i explain this you can understand that's why in the very first week when i cover the data types the primitive data types and the non primitive data types i won't be covering enum i'll be covering in the later sessions only then after covering this abstraction only i'll be covering the interfaces because interface is the continuation of abstraction concept so i'll be covering uh, the abstraction next to it then interfaces 
after interfaces i'll be covering the exceptions so this is main topic in your interview they will rarely ask this question but when you become a developer you need this exception concept because what are the different exceptions you will get it how to rectify it what is try block what is what is catch block uh, how many catch block you can have what is throw statement how can you create your own catch block your custom catch block that also i will explain you and what is finally block so these things will be covered in the exception area then collections and threads so this is the famous interview question most of the panelists will ask you questions related to you to this and sometimes you may get a uh, coding session related to collections also they will ask you to write code in array list or hash map or uh, related to some sets so collections we will be seeing most of the topic what are all the topic you will expect in theoretical will be covered as a theoretical part what are all the topic you will expect in the practical session your coding session for that i'll be doing a demo i'll be doing example and i'll be showing you and coming back to the thread so this is the area they will test whether you have a real or uh, hands on experience or uh, you are reading something from online so the thread concept they will ask you questions related to threads life cycle and the challenges you will face how to come across the challenges so those things and all i'll be covering in the threads coming to the next topics okay functional uh, programming okay though it is somewhat related to your uh, in uh, your uh, interface logic this has become famous in your uh, java 8 after java 8 so if you say i know java 8 immediately they will ask you questions related to functional interfaces and uh, i'll be touching upon the functional interfaces uh, lambda expression your uh, generic concept also so what is generics what is the different options available that and all i'll be covering so the memory management so here when i explain the string concept when i explain the objects and methods there itself i'll be covering this memory management concepts so it's not a separate topic it is part of your individual main oops concept itself whenever i touch upon classes and object there itself i'll be telling which memory it will occupy string where it will go it will go to heap or string constant pool so everything will be handled detailly so the next what we'll be having is though i specified hands on and interview at the end of this topic it doesn't mean that it is end whenever i cover a topic there itself i'll stop and say that you will expect this question in interview this is how you have to answer this is the answer for your interview question and again the answer on also end of every topic if there is a possibility of coding in your interview then that topic will be given as a lab exercise to you and it will be resolved at the end of the topic itself it is not like after completing code java you will have ads on it is parallelly we will be uh, doing this ads on next thing is spring boot so far what and all we have learned it's related to code java but in market uh, the requirement is based upon a framework only uh more than a core java developer people are looking for the uh, any framework developers based upon java based on core java a framework will be developed and that framework how comfortable you are so spring boot is one of the frame, uh, famous framework so here in spring boot uh, i'll be covering the theoretical part because when you go for an interview they will very hardly ask you to create a spring boot application or make one data connections very rarely most of the things will be related to your theoretical concept only they will ask the theoretical tricky questions it is not like straight away from your uh, online material they will ask the questions related to the theoretical concept so they will ask uh, how logically you're explaining based upon the explanation they can really caught whether you learn from online or did some hands on experience you have or not they will find it out so here i'll be touching upon the spring boot concept 
what is Spring Boot and uh, how to use a CLI and uh, what are the different components available. So dependency injections I'll be covering and uh, uh, what are the different modules you have. So what is uh, web starter? What is data? So when you are creating a web application, what are the starter you are supposed to have? What are the dependency you are supposed to have? How to use it? We will be seeing with a real time example. So I will be doing step by step process in the STS. I'll be opening and showing and we will create a new application itself and we will be seeing the real time thing. At least one small login page we will create and we will be seeing how to pass the input and how to get it. Uh, you can uh, we will be creating one uh, JSP page and uh, we will be using it. Um, I saw some question. I'll be answering at the end of the uh, session. Okay, I'll be answering questions at the So the components and all would be there. Then uh, we will be covering the um, data part also. Data transaction, database transaction. I'll be introducing the JPA. H2. Uh, so in JPA, the famous things like uh, create, read, update, and delete. For these four operations, I will delicately do a example. I will show how to create one row and uh, how to uh, update, delete everything we will be doing. And uh, other topics like beans, MVC also we will be seeing. And uh, Security, I'll be introducing you to the security concept like uh, what is spring security will be seeing and uh, Next topics will be seeing is web services in web services uh, we I will be introducing this is fully of a theoretical concept because interview also they will ask you theoretical question only So here we'll be doing introduction to web services. What are the different terminologies we'll be using in web services and uh, What is rest web service? what is SOAP web service and uh, what is SOA and uh, we will be doing some uh, uh, interview related question discussion there and uh, next to topic is microservices here also uh, we already laid the base in the spring boot if you know how to create an application using a spring boot then the next step is you can make small small application that will create a microservices so here I'll be taking into the microservices concept what is the architecture of microservice and what is the difference between monolithic and uh, microservices architecture what is the synchronous and asynchronous communication what are the famous tools available in the market for different operations and all we'll be discussing so far what and all we have discussed is for the back-end development i can say uh, microservices you can do for ui also but mainly it is intended for back-end development angular is the framework we'll be using for the UI development. So here uh, we will be touching upon the uh, Angular. Why Angular? Uh, why we came from Angular JS to Angular? What are the different components available? What is the data binding? And uh, some of the directives we will be discussing, and uh, we'll be discussing some of the modules and other things also as part of this Angular. And we will be creating small uh, uh, form and uh, we will be uh, seeing that example also there. So this is the overall course content and there are some couple of questions. Yes. Uh, is it for beginner who don't have much knowledge on Java or any other programming language? Yes, it is for everyone who doesn't have a programming language also will understand about the programming language and they will learn Java. The only thing, the expectation from you is um, you should follow my instruction. Uh, you should regularly attend the classes. You should not skip any class. If you skip also, there will be a recorded version available. Due to some other uh, mismatch, if you are skipping the class, you can obviously get the recorded version. Whenever you find time, you can see the recorded version. And parallelly, you can practice the lab exercise along with me. If you stuck anywhere, you can ping me and I'll be answering your question over WhatsApp and we will be clarifying our doubts. So if you do like that, doesn't mean that you should know programming language because I'm starting from the scratch by keeping everyone in the mind. In the beginning of the session itself, 
I clearly mentioned some people may come with the intention of uh, like I'm stepping into a programming world, like I want to become a programmer. Some people already in the programmer field and they want to move from one technology to another technology. So they will be knowing a uh, concept already. Say for example, they know Python and they want to know Java means they don't have a concept, but syntax they want to learn newly. Yes, they can very well join the session. And some people may think that I know only the basic Java. I don't know the advanced concept. I want to know Java 8. I want to know the Java frameworks like Spring Boot and all. Yes, they can very well attend this uh, training course. And the main thing is not only this, I will be covering three design patterns also as part of this course. Singleton, MVC and dependency injection. I'll be explaining the concept. So design pattern also one of the interview uh, block. So they will uh, play with that questions, uh, design pattern questions also. You can very well uh, answer that. Any question? Hey, yes, JP, I have very much here. I have uh, three questions. Yes, please. Uh, first question is, uh, yeah, first question is uh, when we uh, completed this course, uh, can we make it uh, three years or four years? Can we manage or how is it like? Can we answer those questions? Hello. Yes, you can manage a three year, four years code very well because I will be covering the advanced concept also. And main thing is uh, three year, four years means obviously they uh, they will look for your debugging skill. They will uh, uh, understand your coding style. So based upon your coding style, we can very well say whether the person is two year experience or three year experience. So as part of hands on experience, you will get a, a coding style of three to four years. I can say four to five years experience also. What is the configuration is required uh, to uh, run this course? I mean, laptop configurations, uh, their hardware and software. See, um, I would say 4GB itself is sufficient to run your uh, uh, laptop. That is fine. If you don't have a laptop also, that is fine because there are some online uh, uh, compiler itself available. I'll be showing that also as part of this uh, training. So if you don't have laptop also, if you have only mobile or tab, yes, you can very well uh, practice yourself using the online compiler. For Code Java, it is sufficient. For Spring Boot and other things, yes, you may need a, a laptop. For that, 4GB is fine. Bare minimum, I'm saying. Uh, one more question, like, uh, so after completion of the course, uh, will you be able to share the interview uh, 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 which will be uh, done means uh, somewhere you completed on uh, crack the interviews so those are records that we have if you have so that would be very helpful to share the other people so. see that is again a private policy right it is tied to an organization so mock like you are looking for an interview which is i yeah, personally done for other yeah. so mock interview means i can do it but what i'll prefer is i'll be sharing the questions here and there i'll be sharing right on as part of the uh, course content itself that itself is sufficient for you okay the way i communicate okay, the, way we, you ask the question would uh, helpful for you uh, when we are answering the people uh, like winter year uh, so we will give small introduction in ourselves, right so that uh, introduction self can you uh, uh, at the end of the class can you teach or how is it like see that is not covered as part of this uh, full stack developer it is like training you as a full stack developer what you're looking for it is a personality development so how to introduce you how to address you as a uh, java developer what are all the key points you can tell i can tell orally to you as a one-on-one -on -one conversation but the answer which you are looking for it is a personality development related question so for that uh, it is a separate thing but personally i can tell you uh, as a trainer I can tell you what are all the things you can uh, put forward to attract a panelist. That I can do, but that is not part of the topic. Okay. Uh, and one more question, like, uh, so uh, is that uh, only APIs? Uh, only uh, your backend? Only you are explaining, or uh, front end any uh, touch will be there in course, or uh, is that APIs? Uh, do we need any database also need to be installed in our uh, laptops to connecting with uh, them? Uh, how is it, it is working under those those under can you explain? 
in this course or yeah. how is it? Uh, see, I'll be uh, training you using JPA uh, for Spring Boot. Uh, in Spring Boot okay. concept only, we'll be touching upon the database aspect. For Spring Boot, you don't need a database because uh, uh, the boot starter itself will do everything for you. You don't need to create a database. There are some concepts uh, that uh, we will be hard coding and we'll be doing. Okay, uh, so when we are in uh, training, so uh, will you explain in the uh, uh, how is that uh, interact with the uh, systems like uh, uh, Java is in purely independent to, for uh, Windows and uh, when we are in uh, Linux, how we are going to be right in a programming and top. So can you demo that is as well or how is it? Yes, it will be covered and uh, uh, one correction here Vintish. Coding okay. wise, as a developer, you don't write a uh, separate coding for a uh, Linux machine and you won't write a separate coding for Windows machine. You will write one coding. That is the one of the feature of Java. It's a platform independent. That's why those are the topics will be covered as part of my training. So it's a platform independent. How to run it in Linux, how to run the code in Windows, it will vary. But as a developer, you won't write a separate code for Windows machine. You won't write a separate code for Linux machine. Okay. And one more question, like architecture, architecture level, uh, will you explain or uh, just only Java, uh, this, uh, uh, how it is writing the program and knowledge only, uh, these are things we will introduce. Which architecture are you looking for, Vintish? I mean, uh, when we are uh, explaining the uh, uh, thing, uh, so this is the uh, deployment code will be deployed into application server. This is the configuration is needed. This is the architecture level uh, we will uh, implement in uh, software. Software, uh, what I will look into interview also, right? So tell me about your architecture of your application. That will be in a concept of one of the concept. Can you include it in the uh, theoretically or how is it like? Yes. When I take the topic, especially in core Java, we'll work, we won't be covering. When I take the topic of uh, uh, Spring Boot, there obviously I will touch upon this topic. So uh, multi tier okay. architecture would be there. So there only we are stepping into the Tomcat. I'll be introducing one server to run your application. Tomcat will be introduced. When we run the Tomcat server, how you can differentiate between your backend code and what is the use of Tomcat and where this Angular code come into picture. So those three layers will come into picture there only because when I tell what is database and other things in the score Java, people won't understand. In Spring Boot, when we introduce the database when we introduce your tomcat server that time i'll be explaining your um, architecture okay one more question like uh, uh, sorry about uh, but uh, 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 so is that uh, javascript also we, uh, will you introduce or how is it it is part of our course or how is it it is out of no javascript is not part of our code typescript because i'll be covering uh, let me clear it out uh, as part of this full stack developer we will be doing the Angular. And this is the advanced topic in the market. Angular JS is outdated. It is like, uh, I can say like uh, seven, eight years itself, Angular JS gone. People are all using Angular only. That is only famous in the market. As Google is using, everyone is interested for this. Okay. So for Angular, TypeScript is the main thing. TypeScript in turn, it's called the JavaScript. That is a different story. But TypeScript, what are the basic concepts I'll be touching upon? It, here, I, we won't be touching upon the uh, deep dive of TypeScript. We won't be doing. But what are the minimum, minimum components you should know to do a Angular development that I'll be touching upon? So what is the mainly uh, uh, front-end and back-end uh, difference? Uh, will you uh, straight up one, one word? Can you, can you please? So that and all I'll be covering as part of UI and backend, like as part of training session, I'll be covering all the concepts related to the topics I can explain because we are already okay. in, uh, on time now. I can explain. Okay. Part yeah, please. Of it is in the regular training session. One hour training session. So there I will be covering. And apart from topic, if you have any doubts related to the concept which you are doing, obviously I will be answering that. Do you need uh, to learn for uh, 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 this one? I mean, uh, HTML also uh, it is helpful for uh, this or how is it? HTML is not required. For uh, 
HTML is a different topic. If you are uh, mainly planning for a UI development, if you want to become a UI developer, then having a knowledge of HTML is good. But here we are mostly covering the backend concepts. And I'll be introducing some of the HTML tags. When I do a coding for uh, uh, Angular or I do a coding for some of the Spring Boot application, I'll be creating an application. Okay, JSP and all I'll be creating. That and all I'll be explaining. I'll be doing with a basic tags only. I'll be creating a web page with the basic tags and I'll explain the use of the tags also. So you don't need to specifically study something outside uh, in HTML and come to the class. It's not needed. What and all I'm using in my course, I'll be explaining clearly. Then I'll step into the topic, whether it is covered in the course content or not. Thank you. Uh, yeah, so in the my... uh, sorry, sorry to interrupt. Uh, Rahul, yeah, please take. So, so in this uh, course, ma'am, uh, we are going to learn Java and uh, also are we going to see the handle the back end with uh, advanced Java? Yes. Okay. And uh, uh, after the course, uh, see the uh, as I go uh, gone through the website and uh, some of the full stack development job details, they were looking for the front end developer, middle layer, and the back end as well. Mm -hmm. So uh, the after the course, uh, I'm not uh, expecting too much because everything we cannot uh, learn in a one group. day by day you have a very rich experience then you for you it is easy for uh, at least for me that is a uh, quite tough as i think that because java then the back end then the front end so at least can can i go uh, uh, become a java developer after this uh, after the course completion so obviously, Rabul, you can very well say that you are a Java developer after this course. Okay, so two things are there. First thing is, uh, first you will understand the concept which and all I am explaining you. Next thing is, when you into a job, if a new topic is come to you, uh, I will prefer you in such a way that you can do a self-learning also. Any new topic, any new feature Java is introducing me. You can very well uh, see the document itself and you can understand that is how i'll be training you the only thing as i told in the one uh, i think satish or somebody has asked this question the only cooperation needed is everyday classes and every topics uh, you should understand then hands-on experience if you do if you travel along with me yes at the end of the course you can say that uh, i'm a back in the paper okay okay thanks thanks but uh, basically, actually, I, right now I'm working as a manual tester. So th mm -hmm. that's why I thought that at least I can use this learning Java in my mm -hmm. automation skills. So hopefully that will benefit. Yes, Raghul, it will be easy for you because uh, you're already in the corporate world. So you know the business and other aspects. The only thing is technology is something new to you. Yes, the yes, technical yes, part yes. only. For you, it's to understand also compared to the people who doesn't know who are not who they are uh, completely out of the field but for them also we are training so it's not like we are trained people who are completely out of the uh, corporate field so they are also doing means why can't you yes we can do okay. um hi ma'am well, this is naren here uh, hi, naren. my question is, yeah <clears throat> my question is uh, Sorry, Rahul, can you please mute? Uh, okay. Um, my question is, um, I, I just see the contents. I was just mentioning the web services and microservices. Uh, you're giving only theoretical. Uh, do do we have any uh, code session for web services and uh, microservices part? Uh, the only challenge here, Naren, is uh, 40 hours we have to cover. And if I dump more things to the student, they will get confused. Okay. So I'll try to bring in the only thing is if I uh, add so much of content, uh, people get confused. That is the only thing. And uh, web services, uh, I don't think they will ask you any um, theoretical, sorry, practical uh, questions in your uh, interview, Naren. So uh, I myself uh, checked with so many panelists in the market. So we won't be doing microservices. Yes, 
we will be doing uh, some examples in microservices. So part will be covered in the Spring Boot based concept only, and we will be doing some microservices. Obviously, I will be creating one microservices and will be showing you also. That will okay. be practical session to be there for microservices. Okay, thanks. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, madam, I have one question. Uh, madam, I, uh, right now I'm working in non-IT city, around uh, six plus years of experience. So once I completed this course, uh, can I switch to IT Java developer? Yes, Farooq. We can do. Uh, they will consider as a fresher or how? Uh, that uh, like we have to start from uh, from scratch only, for Like uh, yeah, from non IT, right? So yeah, yeah. Uh, as a fresher, only you have to apply and you have to do. So the thought process and all uh, that I can't come okay. in. Like, uh, are you from any consultancy, Parup? No, no. Okay. 